Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again, live from FedEx Field in the nation's capital. As the two winless teams in the NFC East do battle as the New York Giants travel to Washington to take on the shirt snow skins. Following a Washington three and out, here comes New York. Danny Dimes is already moving the chains. We're only three plays into their drive and they're already in Washington territory. Time for Danny Dimes to show off those wheels. Run, Forrest, run! Where you going, little fella? Little guy. Wouldn't be the first time his feet betrayed him, but on the very next play, he'd find Sterling, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want to keep the drive alive. Few plays later, play action fake, Danny Dimes would keep those legs churning, pick up a first down, and lower the shoulder on somebody. Now inside the 20, Danny Dimes takes the snap. Holy shit! There's laundry on the field. The NFL has gotten so goddamn soft, this is ridiculous. How is this roughing the passer? I don't know! This is bullshit! Danny Dimes would waste little time taking advantage as his New York Crips are in the Sue Whoop zone. He'd go into the end zone and the giant strike blood first. Ensuing drive, what's the man named after a beer gonna do? Heineken Heineke rolling towards his right, throws the ball to absolutely nobody. Ensuing drive, handoff, Saquon Barkley, and he's loose. Why does he always run as if he's trying to scare little children? Is it just me or does he have a bizarre running form? But somebody tell the referee on the sideline to watch out for that banana. <laughs> Wait a minute, you could have saw this video early and ad free. All you gotta do is click the link in my description or go to patreon.com slash chiseled Adonis and become a level three, four, five, or six member. And you won't have to worry about ads and you'll see this before everybody else. What are you waiting for? Third and seven, Daniel Jones takes the snap. Come here. Ah! 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 Following drive, Heineken Heineke looking down the field. He's got Diami Brown with the elevation for the first down. Brother got higher than Jeff Hardy at Victory Road 2011. Two plays later, Heineken over the middles got McLaurin inside Giants territory. And for some apparent reason, this entire drive, the Giants secondary simply could not guard Scary Terry McLaurin. Brother was getting more targets than a black man that moved into a Klansman's neighborhood as he'd be found in the end zone to even up the score at seven apiece. Following drive, what's Danny Dimes gonna do? Watch out, watch out, watch out! Yeah! Woo -hoo 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 following drive maybe the washington shirts no skins can put together some kind of offense how about new following drive from his own 42 yard line danny dimes is gonna run and he's running faster than a karen trying to make a citizen's arrest he'd go 58 yards into the end zone for the new york Genjutsu! because there's laundry on the field Hold in on the offense. There has been some bizarre calls today because I cannot envision a circumstance in which this is holding. The man is literally getting blocked. Rather than a touchdown, they'd have to settle for a field goal from Ensuing drive, Taylor Heineke's favorite superhero is Wolverine because he'd find Logan Thomas at midfield. Then on the very next play, here comes Adam Humphreys. Hello, Dwight. Spin move. Put the whole defense in a washing machine. With the way McLaren's getting open, you're never going to see Terry put it in reverse. Now in the period colored zone, handoff to J.D. McKissick goes into the end zone. Washington is on top for the first time today. And now a word from our sponsors. Wait a minute, do you shop online? Don't answer that. Of course you do. Don't you lie to me. I have a proposition for you. I need you to go and get yourself some honey. Well, not this kind, but kind of. What? Honey is the number one shopping tool in America, kind of like your online saving sidekick. If Batman was named after online shopping, Robin would be Honey. If Dominic Toretto was named after online shopping, Honey would be family. Honey automatically searches for promo code so you don't have to. Fun fact, when there's a coupon, Honey finds discounts of an average of 18%. You looking for sneakers? Honey got a discount for you. Are you a gamer? You needed a PC tower with LED lights? Honey got you covered. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in my description and go to joinhoney.com slash chiseledadonis and get your hands on some discounts today. Missing out on these deals is like missing out on oxygen. And if you don't got oxygen, you're dead! So don't be dead. Click the link in my description. Go to joinhoney.com slash chiseledadonis and get honey today. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Into the second half we go. Here comes Big Blue. Play action fake. Danny Dimes find Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. For the first down and then a few plays later, Danny's going to run once again inside Shirts No Skins territory. And that would set up... <laughs> Now 
now the lead is cut down to one. Heineke on third and two, throws the ball to. Nobody, baby. Midway through the third quarter, Danny Dimes would follow suit, throw the ball straight into the ground, but there's laundry on the field. Kendall Fuller out here trying to tackle people before the football even arrived. New York will get a new set of downs, and three plays later, they would enter Washington territory. How does Sterling Shepard keep getting behind them? Second and ten, Danny Dimes is going to let it fly, treating Washington secondary like a shallow vagina because they can't handle the deep balls as Darius Slayton would go into the end zone for the score, New York's back on top. Washington now looking to respond. Heineke's gonna let it fly. He's got a man. My, my, my. But there's laundry on the field for defensive pass interference. Washington would get the football in New York territory. Gibson would put them inside field goal range. And Dustin Hopkins would line up from 49 yards out, kick it through the uprights, cut the deficit down to three. Final minute of the third quarter, Washington defense still ain't show up. Danny Dimes doing whatever the hell he wants. What did you say, nigga? Don't run, nigga. I see you. Gando, lo gando. Gando, lo gando. Gando, lo gando. Gando, lo gando. Senor. Graham Gano is absolutely automatic, makes it a six-point game once again. But Washington's already on the move, and McLaurin simply cannot be guarded as once again they're inside Giants territory in no time. But it's time to call in the 12th man. Activate the turf monster. I don't know what the hell just happened. All I know is there's laundry on the field. Bradbury was out here holding on to McLaurin for dear life. It'd be an automatic first down. But why the hell did the turf monster make Taylor Heineke perform a finger roll during a football game? This looked like when you try to slide in Madden and the controller mess around and make you dive forward. Man's looks completely discombobulated. Couple plays later. Later, Heineke would keep his composure and he'd find McLaurin inside field goal range. And Hopkins would line up from 37 yards out and it's once again a three-point game. Somebody need to check Sterling Shepard to see if he activating cheat codes. How the hell is he getting this wide open in a close game like this? Pardon my interruption. If you ever wanted to get your hands on some merch like this. Wow. 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 Give me what I want! Give me what I want! Click the links in my description and go to chiseledadonnashop.com and get your merch today. Trust! Do it! Few plays later in Washington territory, Danny Dimes launches it from the 50. He's got a man wide open. I dropped it. Lousy son of a bitch. Hey, hey, That's hey. exactly what he is. But he's a no good bastard for what he did, and he ought to burn in hell for it. I dropped it. This man's hands are as reliable as a pack of contraceptives at Nick Cannon's house. He probably couldn't catch the sunset on a night of clear skies while sitting on the beachfront. Legend has it he hit puberty at three years old because he dropped balls early back then as well. You ain't nothing but a disappointment, and your hands are just for decoration. I hate you. What you gotta do me like that? I hate you, man. What happened to his hands? Third and 15, out of field goal range. Danny Dimes, no, he can't trust his receivers if Sterling Shepard is somehow covered. He'd take it into field goal range his damn self. And Mr. Automatic is headed to the field. Gando, lo gando! Gando, lo gando! Gando, lo gando! Senor, gando, lo gando! Money from 55 makes it a six-point game once again, but Taylor Heineke's gonna let it fly. He's got J.D. McKissick in stride. The Giants' defense is choking on their own Adam's apple. Very next play, Heineke takes the snap, looking towards the corner of the end zone. He's got Ricky Seals-Jones, who tells Adoree Jackson to hold my nuggets. Suck my dick! The shirts, no skins, take the lead. He really put his nutsack in Adoree's face. How your breath smell like this man's jock strap. Ensuing drive for Big Blue, Darius Slayton participating in the Aaron Hernandez challenge because he can't get his feet down. They'd be forced to punt by Heineke's cooking apple. Turnovers! Pass intercepted by Bradbury. He's at the 20. The Giants take over. I got it. I got it. You belong to me. The Giants already in field goal range. Who cares about a completion? They have an opportunity to win the game off the foot of Graham Gano. The Giants lead by two. Now it's the football team trying to take their receipt to the sperm bank and get their comeback. 
<laughs> They're at the 35. Game on the line. No Frank Costanza challenge needed. McKissick moves the chains. Do you need a shout out? Perhaps you need somebody to sing happy birthday for you. Maybe you need some help roasting a friend or you just need somebody to announce the draft order for your fantasy football league. Book me on Cameo. Go to Cameo.com slash Chisel Adonis and book me today. Heineken Heineke trying to drive down the field with under a minute left to play. He's got Logan Wolverine Thomas. Third and five. Washington moving down the field with absolute ease. The Giants defense need to be on Broadway with the amount of plays they given up. The Giants are the type of team that you edit on Madden with every player's attributes being 99 on rookie mode and you still lose by 56. Now in field goal range, Dustin Hopkins would line up from 48 yards out for the win. The kick is sailing wide to the right. No good. This is like Thinking you had to fart only to find out you shit yourself. The Giants win the game, Jets! Because there's laundry on the field. A giant player went off sides. Look at this nincompoop. This fat bastard tub of lard waste of space. Dexter Lawrence needs his ass whipped and his legs amputated. Maybe that'll teach him to stay on sides. Hannah Montana once said everybody makes mistakes, everybody has those days, but it's not supposed to happen in moments like this. Dexter Lawrence is the type of person to eat potato chips in the midst of a stealth mission that gets you killed. He ain't nothing but a... He's an undependable, unreliable, irresponsible... This fat son of a bitch is gonna draw us all out! He's fat! The football gods gave you a layup, and your dumb ass couldn't stay on sides. I hope every time you shop, you can't find clothing in your size. I hope when you flip the pillow while trying to sleep, that it's hot on the other side of the pillow. I pray the check engine light comes on in your vehicle. The burners on your stove no longer ignite. Cause when Washington antagonized you to jump, you said, don't mind if I do. Lawrence, put your Motherfucking head back down, you goddamn bum! Like, I'm gonna. About this. I don't care if he's I'll make him bleed. They'd give Hopkins another opportunity from 43 yards out. No time left on the clock. Kicks it through the uprights, and it's good. Washington pulls off the miraculous comeback, and Taylor Heineke gets his first victory as a starter in the NFL. He may have fallen down, but Dustin Hopkins got right back up because when he got the other opportunity to kick it through the uprights, he drilled it and gave his team a victory. Look at the Giants' sideline in absolute disarray. No Nobody is having a good time. Mike Glennon is still balding despite the fact he's already bald. Every year since 2013, with the exception of 2016, the Giants have started 0-2. They got the worst record in the league ever since they took this bum-ass photo on the boat. And that discount clearance aisle, great value, Eli Manning in the face but don't got the clutch talent, Daniel Jones, is 0-6 in primetime games because every time the Giants need a W, they always come up short. You absolute failure poverty franchise, take out your Metro cards and get aboard the You damn bums! Greetings, it's me again. Would you guys like to win a brand new PlayStation 5? Or perhaps you'd rather have an Xbox X. All you've got to do is click the links in my description, download the free Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, or click the link that'll take you directly to Hot Mic. Just follow me on the app and you'll be entered into the giveaway for a PlayStation 5 bundle and an Xbox X bundle. If you guys already follow me for the 10K follower giveaway last season, you'll already be entered. If you follow me for the NBA Finals giveaway, you'll already be into. I don't care about burner accounts. I don't care how many other accounts you happen to make. All you've got to do is download the Hot Mic app, use the invite code Adonis, follow me on the app, and you will be into. May the odds ever be in your favor. Come true! Just do it! Please! Please!